right, so for a long time, this man believed that he was the number one light heavyweight in the world. He is the challenger out of the blue corner tonight and with a golden opportunity to prove to the champion that there's a new force to be reckoned. He said time and time again he thought he was the matchup. He thought he could get it done. He thought that it was only a matter of time before he took the belt from the champ. Now he gets that opportunity. Words are only words until you put them into action. Tonight he has the opportunity to put all those words into action and become the champion. He is on the verge of something huge. For a long time, people believed this was the UFC's glamour division, and this light heavyweight contender wants to bring that shine back. Big opportunity for him tonight. All right, tonight we get another look at the wildly talented Magomed Ankalaev, not just one of the best light heavyweights in the world, for my money, one of the top 20 pound-for-pound -pound athletes on this roster top to bottom. I feel like he can compete with anyone, but I also feel like he has a style that translates weight classes, and that is what pound for pound feet means. This guy can strike. This guy can grapple. This guy has tremendous cardio. I don't think anything points to that more than the Bohovic fight. When it went bad, he just pivoted and did something different and almost became the champion. Tonight, he's got to be on his game if he wants to get his hand raised. And a lot of people believe against any 205-er in the world, Magomed Ankalaev would be the betting favorite. Let us see how he handles this stylistic challenge in front of him tonight. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander Rocket Rocket. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U. Light heavyweight champion of the world, Magomed Ankalaya. Referee Herb Great Dean fight. will handle the action Great. in the octagon. Good. Well, a lot of people have planted their flag on Magomed Ankalaya in terms of his future light heavyweight greatness, but the UFC matchmakers do a masterful job in terms of setting up a test that you need to pass in order to get to that requisite next level. This is a challenging stylistic matchup, and even the confident Ankalaya have acknowledged that this is going to test me in ways perhaps I haven't been tested in the octagon before. Oh, punches and bunches all to the head. Beautiful combination. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Rockage. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Able to land there with the straight left. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Nice kick to the body. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Able to block that man. 
huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. Big left hand there inside. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Keep your hands up, Corey. Come Let's on. Work, guys. Let's move. Let's recompose. Stay All right, so that calf is starting to bruise up. We'll keep an eye on it. He's got to check now because if he doesn't, his leg is going to be so. He's not going to be able to move. He's going to be in real trouble. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. That shot is blocked by Ankalaev. What a beautiful right punch that landed there. Leg kick is true. Final seconds here. Oh. Round two is next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Ready to fight. Ready. Second Whoa. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't a far fight. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Moving to his left now. Beautiful job landing that head kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Looks like that one lands beautiful by the kid. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot. I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw in combination. Get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to get him hurt. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Under 90 seconds to go. Stay strong. Pretty strong jab there by Rockage. Leg kick lands. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give one. Under 30 seconds. 
All right, that calf kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Nice crack there. And he blocks the shot there. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it's in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, landed some big shots, too. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Rockich is really limping now. Clearly the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood. Oh! This could be it! Big right hand. Right hand by the champ, yeah. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Ankalaev's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Target. It's a pretty fast jab. Under a minute to go in the round. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry the... What a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? Ready. We it. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. 
That was a massive high kick. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Ankalaev. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, two straight hands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Low kick, low Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice strike lands from the bottom half. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Oh, he blocked that one. Man. Back to the feet now. Both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues. Oh, 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 there as he lands. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Thirty seconds to go. Stay heavy on that cut. Let's go. Get it. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Right. Twenty minutes down, five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Ready. Ready. Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, you can hear the crowd as yet another cap kick lands. Pretty swollen now. Well, he's at a point now where even if he checks it, it still is very damaging. He waited too long to address that attack. Missed on the right hand. Just a nasty kick. That's worth I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. He continues to run. Oh, in a ton of trouble right now. He's 
got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Oh, nice jab there by Uncle Light. Goes to the body there. Ankalaev is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, I'm not sure if that is crimson or purple, whatever the shade. Another bruising calf kick lands flush. I can't believe he came in here this unprepared to address this attack, and now he's paying for it. Big right hook there by the champ. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Clean punch. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Ankalaev's limping right now. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, Ladies the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable the Bruce Buffer. For decision. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is considered a majority draw. And still UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Big effort out of him tonight, and he remains the king and the standard upon which all other 205-pounders will be judged. In the glamour division of the company, with 205-pound weight class, he is the champ. He is the standard bearer. He is the bar at which everyone is judged. Congratulations to the champion.